Let me clarify what I mean by clarify. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're brand new here, hi, my name's Courtney. And here we talk all things wavy curly hair, wavy curly hair science, and the best way to care for your waves and curls and get the absolute healthiest hair of your life. If you start researching hair, you will find out that buildup is an issue. We've all probably seen the videos by now of people using a razor to scrape their hair and, and saying, oh look at all the buildup that's coming off of our hair. Spoiler alert, that's not actually buildup, that's your hair cuticle you're shaving off. But buildup is an actual issue that we deal with, especially if you're styling your hair wavy curly. Why? Because we play around with stylers and put gel in our hair and put curl cream in our hair. And these products tend to contain ingredients that can build up on the hair over time. There's many different forms of buildup from polyquaternion buildup to hard water buildup. And today I am gonna clarify all of the misconceptions that people have about how to properly clarify and deep condition your hair and show you the exact step-by-step -step process that I use when I clarify and deep condition. But before we continue talking about all things clarifying and deep conditioning, there's something I've gotta show you. Come with me. I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this portion of today's video, Factor. Some of you may already know, but one of my favorite things to do outside of YouTube is to go to the gym and lift weights. I find that it is very therapeutic, not only for my mind, but also my body and my soul. And something else that I'm working on this year in particular is growing my hair out. What do these two things have to do with Factor Meals in order to be able to lift weights well and grow muscle and grow long, healthy, strong hair? I need to fuel my body well. And that is why I am obsessed with Factor. Factor makes fueling my body an absolute breeze because they offer fresh, never frozen meals that are chef crafted, dietitian approved, and delivered straight to your door. No more prep, no more grocery shopping, no mess, just pure deliciousness. There are 35 different meal options every week to choose from, from keto to calorie smart to flexitarian, veggie and vegan, and even protein plus, there is something for everyone. And here's the best part about this offer. You can enjoy up to 50% off your first box plus free wellness shots for life if you use code SWAVY50. While I do personally really enjoy cooking and sometimes throwing together a meal can be a ton of fun, sometimes I just wish that all of that prep work were done for me and all I had to do was grab a meal, throw it in the microwave for two minutes, pull it out and enjoy it. So what are you waiting for? Head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code SWAVY50 for 50% off your first box plus the free wellness shots for life. Make sure that you head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code SWAVY50 and get 50% off your first box and free wellness shots for life. If you want an entire week of delicious meals, you've got to check out Factor. Let's go back to clarifying and deep conditioning. First, I do want to say that I have heard of clarifying your hair with bentonite clay that it's supposed to somehow remove heavy metals from your hair. This is not something that I personally recommend and here's why. Bentonite clay has an extremely high pH. The pH of your hair is 4.5 to 5.5 and bentonite clay has a pH of this. If you put this on your hair, it is going to wildly lift your hair cuticle. Like think, open the barn door all the way. And this is how it's clarifying your hair. When the hair cuticle is lifted up that high, a lot of the gunk can be rinsed out 
with surfactants. But bentonite clay does not have any surfactants. It just has a really high pH. And if you do not do any kind of conditioning afterwards and adjust the pH of your hair back down to where it needs to be, then that hair cuticle is going to remain lifted up and cause you some pretty serious issues in the near future. Probably some tangling, probably some breakage. And that brings me to clarifying your hair with apple cider vinegar. It's the opposite problem of the bentonite clay. It has an incredibly low pH. And you're thinking to yourself, well, Courtney, I will just cut it with water. I'll just use one third apple cider vinegar, two thirds water and that will make it the right pH. Yes, that does help adjust the pH of the vinegar a little bit. It's still acidic and it will help remove some forms of buildup. But again, it's not going to be the most gentle or effective way to actually remove a wide range of buildup. It will only target some oil buildup if I'm being honest. Which begs the question, okay, Courtney, then what do you recommend we use to clarify with? It does depend on which kinds of buildup you are dealing with. Most types of buildup are most easily dealt with by using a sulfate shampoo. As someone with wavy curly hair, my hair tends to be on the drier side. I don't need to use a shampoo that contains sulfates every single time I wash my hair. I wash my hair about two to three times a week. However, with this product, I use it once to twice a month. It contains sodium laureth sulfate and sodium laurel sulfate, two different types of sulfates. This does the majority of my heavy lifting when I need something to get my hair reset, back to zero, no buildup on it. One of the reasons that this works so well as a clarifier is that it does not contain any moisturizing ingredients in it. I actually really like that, especially if I'm struggling with some issues with my hair and I'm not really sure if my hair is reacting to something and I wanna make sure that the shampoo's not going to have something in it that my hair reacts to. Essentially, this is just sulfates, some stabilizers, a little bit of fragrance and some preservatives that are going to keep mold and fungus from growing in my shampoo. It's a very basic shampoo. It's really good and it's quite affordable, which I really appreciate. While the Pantene Volume Shampoo is a really good option for a wide range of buildup types, there is one type of buildup that sulfates don't tackle completely, and that is polyquaternium buildup. There are several different types of polyquaternium, polyquaternium 4, polyquaternium 68, etc., etc. Most polyquaternions are a hold ingredient that also has some humidity blocking properties. They're fantastic. They help our hair not frizz when it's humid out, but they're very sticky and sometimes they can build up on each other. How do we get them off? This is a really good option. This is the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo. Now, I am seeing that it hasn't been in stock at its regular places very often, which is making me really nervous. Kinky Curly, don't you discontinue this product. I will be very sad because it took me five years to finally try this product and it's amazing. That being said, the main ingredient in this product that makes it so incredible for removing polyquaternion buildup is the C14, C16 olefin sulfonate. That is an ingredient that helps remove really sticky polyquaternions. And this helps break the polyquaternions off of the hair and rinse them down the drain. It's also a clear formula and a very stripped down ingredients label. There's not a whole lot going on in this product. It's just gonna get your hair clean and get it reset and prepped and ready for deep conditioner. Another type of buildup you may be dealing with is hard water buildup. And the problem with that is, is that when you start researching how to remove hard water buildup from the hair, you'll start hearing about chelating ingredients. And certain ingredients do have the actual ability to remove magnesium and calcium deposits from the hair, which is the actual hard water buildup on your hair, calcium and magnesium. So certain ingredients target those minerals and help bind to them and rinse them down the drain. The problem with that is, is that a lot of times ingredients that are chelating also have preservative properties, which means that you find those ingredients a lot in products. But just because a product contains a chelating ingredient doesn't mean that that ingredient is necessarily concentrated enough in the product for that ingredient 
to act as a chelator. If you see a chelating ingredient in a shampoo and it is at the very bottom of the ingredients label, there's a good chance that it's in concentration strong enough to act as a preservative and keep mold and fungus from growing in your product, but not strong enough to chelate your hair, AKA remove hard water buildup. One way to tell if you are reading an ingredients label and you see chelating ingredients in it and you're curious if they're strong enough in the product to actually chelate your hair, one, the product will probably say on it, removes hard water buildup. That is the biggest green flag there is. You know for certain that that product has been formulated to remove magnesium and calcium deposits on the hair. But if it doesn't tell you that, and there's a chelating ingredient in it, you could reach out to the company and ask them directly if the product is chelating or not, or you can just find an alternative that does claim to remove hard water buildup. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I rambled so long about that. That was so much buildup, pun intended. I really like this shampoo. It is the Weedad Waterworks Clarifying Shampoo. This is my favorite chelating shampoo at the moment. I have used a few, but this one is the Weedad Waterworks Clarifying Shampoo. It is a little bit more expensive, but another reason that I really love it is not only does it contain chelating ingredients, but it also contains sodium lauryl sulfate and ammonium lauryl sulfate, which means that this will not only target the hard water buildup on my hair, but it also targets the buildup that sulfates are really good at removing, which are kind of the oily, greasy, sebum, shea butter, coconut oil buildup type stuff on my hair. So this actually kills two birds with one stone. It removes hard water buildup and also contains that sulfate that I crave on a bi-monthly basis. The last clarifying shampoo I want to talk to you about is the Bumble and Bumble BB Sunday Shampoo. This was a product that I recently started playing around with. I've heard for years that this is absolutely incredible, but it's expensive and I never wanted to spend the money on it. Finally, I bit the bullet. I went ahead and purchased it and started using it. I get the hype. This cleanses my hair on a level that I haven't felt in other products. It's very concentrated and I find that it 100% fully resets my hair. It's not necessarily a chelating shampoo and I'm not seeing surfactants in it that remove that really sticky kind of magnetic buildup on the hair. It just has sodium lauryl sulfate. I also see rosemary leaf oil in here, magnesium chloride. But if you were looking for a really effective and more high-end clarifying shampoo to keep in your cabinet, yes, I really like this one. I personally like to scrub my scalp with the pads of my fingers with this product and really take my time making sure that I'm getting a super even coat of this product all over every square inch of my scalp. How much more clear can I be? <laughs> you really don't wanna miss any spots with this as you're cleansing. I don't scrub the lengths of my hair with this product. I just pull the lather through the lengths of my hair when I'm using this. And more often than not, I will go ahead and double cleanse. I've seen debates on the internet about whether or not you actually need to do this. I personally have noticed in practice when I do a double cleanse, my scalp and hair appears to get cleaner. I see, I see the people talking about how it's not necessarily necessary to double cleanse. I find that it helps. So since I found that it helps, I'm gonna do it when I, clarify and deep condition. I don't find that on the second time around, my hair feels any more dry or any more stripped. I just feel like it got a more even cleanse, if that makes sense. All right, now we've talked all about different clarifiers and different shampoos that I categorize into the clarifying category. I feel like clarifying shampoo is one of those more nebulous terms because some shampoos are labeled clarifying shampoos and I don't personally feel that they are that clarifying. I can still feel residue on my hair after I'm done using them. In fact, they feel rather hydrating and moisturizing. So just because a product claims to be clarifying doesn't necessarily mean that it is clarifying. These are all the shampoos that I would recommend 
to use as your clarifier. Now, let's talk about deep conditioning. Well, my friends, it appears that in true Courtney fashion, I talked way too much. The problem is, is that I want to give you all the knowledge that's in my brain, and sometimes that means I talk for a long time trying to really explain stuff so that you have all the tools that you need in order to get the healthiest hair of your dreams. So, let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this video into a two-part video. This was part one, wherein we talked all about how to properly clarify your hair. Make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell clicked so that you don't miss part two, where we dive deep into how to properly deep condition your hair, which deep conditioners are best, and all that goodness. As always, I am so grateful for each and every single one of you hanging out with me here on the internet, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.